it's Mrs. Higgins. I'm going to share with you a little tidbit on uh, comparing numbers. Um, on the SAR test, they do have to compare numbers. And what's hard about it is that it's not just always numbers and symbols when they're comparing something. Um, sometimes it's actually a sentence that will say like 600 is less than 400. Is that true or false kind of thing? So not only do they need to understand which symbol to choose, but they need to understand what that symbol says. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, in math, of course, you have your three symbols when you're comparing numbers. You have this one, you have this one, and then you have this one. So I think when, when I was younger, I was taught like just this is like a mouth and it needs to eat the bigger number. But once you get to like a test that has it written out in a sentence, you can no longer rely on that strategy. So I try to teach them this, that this is a symbol and so is this one. But if you look at this one, because one of these is greater than, one of these is less than, of course, they know this one that's equal. They've known that since kinder. So they're good with this one. It's kind of these two that they mix up. So the strategy I use in my class is that this symbol, I'm not quite sure what it is. However, once I get to this symbol, if I look at it and I tilt my head a little bit, it actually is a crooked L. And if I can take my pencil and write the word less, then this symbol is less. It's kind of crooked, but it actually says the word less. With this symbol, if I cannot write the word less, like that doesn't say anything, that this must be a greater than symbol. So that's what I teach the kids. If you can read it as less, then this is your less than symbol. If you cannot make the word less, it's your greater than symbol. Um, I've seen some people teach it like this symbol can be a G, which is now your greater than. Um, I have found that to be confusing with some kids I work with. They're not quite sure which curve to use on which symbol. So what I have just stuck with is the symbol that helps you do less is your less than symbol. And the other one, if you cannot make it a less, then it's greater than. So, whenever they have a problem, I don't know, like um, 400 symbol, 500, what I teach them is what goes in here needs to make sense. So we will ask ourselves is 400 less than 500? Is 400 greater than 500? Or is 400 equal to 500? And I'll give them time to think. And when they come up with their answer, which is less than, they need to write the symbol that will help them spell less than. So this symbol, and then I have them write less on the outside, just to prove that they spelled the word less. When they're comparing two numbers that are a little more harder, because that one was just 400 and 500, when they're comparing numbers, and in third grade it goes up to the um, 100 or 10 thousandths place, I'm not quite sure, it's kind of late, but it's pretty big. Like let's say it's 1,487 compared to 1,000, I don't know, 562. What I have them do in my class is, um, first thing you need to understand that Numbers with different amount of digits will already tell you if they're bigger or smaller. For instance, a number with only three digits is smaller than a number with four digits. Like 300 will always be smaller than 4,000. So I teach them that. So when I get started, I always ask them how many digits am I comparing? I'm comparing one, two, three, four digits. One, two, three, four digits. Now that I know I have four digits on both sides, I must now look at their values. And we start in the front. So I have a one and a one, and I ask them if they're the same or different. And they're like, they're the same. I'm like, okay, so great. Since the values are the same, because I have a 1,000 and a 1,000, we're gonna look at the next one. I have a four and a four, and I always say same or different. And they're like, different. And I, great, now let's circle the four, and let's circle the five. 
and to reinforce values and place value concepts, I always ask them, what is the value of this four? Since it's a four in the hundreds place, its value is 400. Okay, and this is sneaking in some place value concepts that I like need them to work on. So I'm always trying to sneak it in somewhere. So here is a five and it's in the hundreds place, so its value is 500. Okay, so then we're kind of back to where we were, I guess, on this one. But if they go through these steps, this simple one is now right in front of them. Like you see how this one was so easy? So now here it is, 400 compared to 500. And then they ask yourself, blah, blah, blah. You know, so then they'll come up with is less than. And they, I always have them write less. So that helps. One more thing, sometimes you get to a problem and it's already written down, especially their multiple choice questions. Well, like which one's true? And so they'll have like, I don't know. Um, they'll have something like this, 693, and I tell them if you cannot make the word less, it's greater, okay? So then you need to read, 693 is greater than 567, is that true or false? So we'll go through, and how many digits do we have? We have one, two, three, we have one, two, three. So let's look at the values of each digit. Here's a six, here's a five. Are they the same or different? No. Okay, great. So we look at six and the value is 600. We look at five and the value, okay. Now is this true? So on this one, we had to put our own symbol in. Sometimes they have to figure out if it's true or not based on their choices. So then ask yourself, is 600 greater than 500? It is, so then this one is correct. So that's just what I teach them in class. Um, I like for them to use this less trick. I don't prefer making this into a G because it's hard to remember which way to curve it. Even I struggle remembering which way to curve it. So if they just stick with less and know if they can't make it a less, it's a greater than symbol. I have found this very helpful. And like I said, it helps me break it down from a problem like this, which eventually became 400 and 500, it became this simple after we talked about all the values.